Hello and welcome to VJA Ceramics. My name is Benita and in this video I want to talk to you about Speedball's Artista Pottery Wheel. Now this is a great pottery wheel that I'm excited to talk to you about. Um, this is also a low uh, cost effective pottery wheel. Um, a little bit more pricier than the Viver, but let's talk about it. So when you purchase the Artista, you get two buckets here, as you see here, two white buckets, where you can store your water, your pottery tools, or anything else you need. Also, there is an attachment for you to pull out the splash pan so it does come apart. A very sturdy um, wheel head, and it also comes with pin holes. So it'll be easy for you to um, attach your bats to it. And the other... Um, bucket goes on the other side. Also, on the side of this, you see a black knob here. This is where you would attach your foot pedal. I opted not to buy the foot pedal because um, as I was doing my research on this, this pottery wheel, I found that um, there were a lot of problems with the foot pedal, so I did not purchase it. So that's up to you if you want to purchase it or not. Uh, wood is very strong, very sturdy. I don't have any dents on it. I've had it for about five years, so it's been good to me. Um, and on the other side of the pottery wheel, there are only two knobs here, so there's not a lot to um, not a lot of functions on here. You have your knob here where you increase the speed of your wheel, and you also have your on and off switch. And this is a 110 volt, so it it pretty much is compatible with any uh, standard household outlet. Okay. So this pottery wheel is lightweight and it does weigh about 28 pounds. So you can carry it around wherever you need to go. Um, if you want to throw on the go, it's easy to carry around. Store it in your car, no problem. All right, so let's see what else I can say about this pottery wheel. Um, I think I'm gonna turn it on and let you look at the wheel as it turns so it starts off slow and of course as you turn further it goes faster and faster and i'm going to turn it to its maximum speed now the knocking you're going to hear some knocking that's clay that's left up under the um the wheel head so it's nothing wrong with the machine you will not hear that you hear that knocking when you purchase it but you can hear the noise as it spins it's not too bad it's a, um, a tolerable noise level so I never had any problems with it and I'll just turn down the speed again and also this wheel does come with well it's so separate you can also get um, legs to um, place the wheel on top of um, as I said, that is sold separately. I had a table that I just placed my pottery wheel on top of it. And also when you purchase the pottery wheel, it comes with this B12 bat. So it's a bat system that attaches right to your pinholes, right in the pinholes. And it also comes with this square bat that attaches as well to the wheel head. It also comes with um, a package of uh, pottery tools, just your basic pottery tools like your um, your pear tool, your cutting tool. It comes with a needle tool and comes with a sponge and a rib. So you have your, you'll be all set to go. You don't have to go out and buy yourself any of those things because it comes with it, which makes it very convenient. And what else? Oh, and one important thing I want to say about it is when you purchase this pottery wheel, you must indicate whether you want a left-handed pottery wheel or a right-handed pottery wheel because there is no reverse button on here. So make sure you specify that so that you will not receive a left-handed wheel if you're right-handed or a right-handed wheel if you're left-handed. So that's one important thing I want to point out. Um, another thing, you can throw up to 25 pounds on this pottery wheel. So as I said, very cost-effective. Um, and it's a great pottery wheel. I've had it for about five years and it has been great. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you and please watch me on the next one. Thank you.